plays the, uh, you know, she's more dramatic and more, uh, you know, easy to have a, a definite opinion about. We'll put it that way. Mm-hmm. Well, it is. It is uh, I thoroughly enjoyed your book, The Vig. I, I've enjoyed all your books, uh, oh, but right. how the characters handle uh, these decisions, these um, these things that come up, take the bribe, not take the bribe, uh, mm-hmm. murder this person, not murder this person. But uh, those, uh, you know, how they make those decisions, you know, like uh, I, 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 your characters in your stories are, are just so real to me. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. I know these people. I've met them before. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all have. Hopefully that's, you know, that that is the point, and that's what makes makes the books appealing, and that's why people like them. Because we all have, we've all, even even the Vig, we all know. Like I said, there's there's someone in the office who always goes runs off with office supplies. We we all know that, you know. Mm-hmm. We all know the guy who uh, will surprise you. Like wow, he, I never knew he had that secret life like that. We all know someone like that. We know the 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 gruff administrative guy who gives you a hard time and then you find out wow he's facing his his job is being eliminated maybe that's why we all know these people uh so that's i hopefully is what makes my you know as far as their their the novels are character driven and not Mm -hmm. as much event driven uh which is different than i think a lot of thrillers uh, you know, it's a clever story. It's it's it rolls along nicely. There's dra- drama and tension, but it is it is character driven. There are scenes where you know, as I was weeping as I wrote them, there were scenes where I was uh, you know nervous as I was writing them. Uh, I'm thinking about the the scene where uh, Matthew Haywood. I don't know if you remember that part where uh, yes, I do. When he goes home by himself, like oh. You know, I wrote that, and, and I swear at the end, I'm like, my God, that was so sad. And I didn't, well, it was me that wrote it, you know? So it's mm-hmm. interesting. It's interesting. And it's interesting to do, and, and I love uh, I, I love writing about these people. And, you know, they're they're part of me now, you know? They really are. Well, John, we're just about out of time. Uh, that was very fascinating. I, I it, It's so interesting to hear an author describe his characters that way. Uh, uh, John, we are out of time. Uh, I do want to thank you for appearing on our program today. Our next show with author John Knuckle, continuing the International Radio Book Tour, will be on July 21st on KNJO, Thousand Oaks, California, for an in-depth preview of the second book in the series uh, called The Grit, or uh, John's trilogy, Grit. Uh, That is uh, The Vig, followed by Grit. Uh, followed by uh, Blind Trust. Uh, We'll have dramatic readings from the book uh, Grit when we have that program, so you don't want to miss that show. We're all looking forward to it. John Knuckles' International Radio Book Tour video will be available to view on internationalradiotours.org and storytellerscampfire.org on Saturday, June 20th at 9 p.m. Pacific Time. International Radio Book Tours is managed and directed through Storytellers Campfire Radio programs. To learn more about the program, Please visit uh, online uh, on our website, uh, www.storytellerscampfire.org. Click on the show page and click on the International Book Tours. Uh, We also provide information and links for the guests featured on the program through our website. Again, please visit Storytellers Campfire Radio at www.storytellerscampfire.org. And now to our listening audience from around the world, this is your host, Rich Galhausen, saying I hope you have a very good day.